Hi guys, this is Mike from Website Builders Critic. Today I'm going to show you how to do basic SEO with Wix. SEO, for those of you who aren't familiar, stands for Search Engine Optimization, and it's basically making sure that the search engines um, see your website for exactly the type of content that you are trying to target. So, to get started, let, this is an example website that I have up in front of me right now that you can see. To get to uh, moving with your SEO settings, over on the left hand side you'll see kind of a gear icon that says settings when you hover over it here. Just click on that. You'll see an SEO and in brackets it says Google. Click on that. You can see up here there's a toggle that allows you to, to turn on or off search engine um, capabilities. So basically what that means, it kind of functions like a robot's text file like you would have with a standard website. It basically says if a search engine like Google tries to come to your website, let it through. If you turn it off, it'll set a little flag in a text file that the search engine will read that basically says this site's not ready yet, go away. And the search engine will go away. Obviously if you're, if you're in the position of building up your website, having this uh, off right now is, would probably be the smartest thing to do and then to turn it on when you're ready to go live. So once you've turned it on, first thing you're going to do is make sure you have an accurate site title. You're going to want to put in something that kind of uh, gets across the point of your website. So in this instance, it's a marketing company called Digital, uh, I can't remember what it's called exactly, Digital Brands or something like that. So what you would do is you would put the title of your company for like this, marketing company, name, dash, and my personal opinion would be to put in a couple of um, key things in here. So um, digital marketing for everyone. Assuming that digital marketing is the keyword that you're targeting. And then under site description, you're going to want to place something usually around 250 characters or less that describes your website and the basic functionalities. The purpose of this is to try to draw people in when they see your website in the search results. So you could put um, marketing company name is the leader in digital marketing for everyone. We specialize in A-B testing, um, marketing automation, and email capture lead generation. And basically what you're getting here is you're using all the different keywords somebody would potentially search for in hopes that they would catch their attention and they would see the basic services you offer quickly. Uh, keywords, a lot, of, a lot of these website builders have the made a keyword option here. They're typically not used at all by search engines anymore, but for some of the older search engines, there's a very slim chance that they might want to use it. And what it is basically is you would put in you would put in keywords that you would expect people to try to search for and try to target. So you would say, if you think someone's going to search for marketing automation and you want to be found for it, you put it in your keywords. If you want someone typing digital marketing to potentially find you, you put it in there. Obviously, it's completely dependent on how much competition there is and so on. I usually recommend leaving that field blank and focusing on your site title and your site description. Once you have those two entered, there's an advanced SEO settings as well, and what that lets you add are um, meta tags. Now, we're not gonna get into that too much, but if you're familiar with Google Webmaster Tools or Pinterest or you use any of those types of things, you get the code from it and you place it in this box and hit apply. And that'll um, help verify your account, your site with those, those providers. Now, once we've got this information in there, you click done that saves it. Now you don't just do it to your main site, you're also going to want to make sure that every individual page you have on your website also has SEO set up with it. So for your services page, you click the cog here, and there's an SEO setting, and then the same thing, page title, page description. And like I said, you want to make sure it's kind of accurate. And they give you some pretty good ideas here. You can see um, Wix is saying, for instance, if you're trying to be found by uh, your location and a keyword, then maybe doing James Edwards, pipe, wedding photography, pipe London might be a good option. And I'd agree with that. I would say that's probably a pretty solid. And then under the description, it tells you a summary of what your page is about in Google. 
So once you've done that for each of your pages, um, that's pretty much all you need to do. So you get those two, those things done, save them, apply them, and your website is as optimized as it can be for the search engines. If you found this video useful, please subscribe below or share this post so that we can help spread the word. Thank you.